Resilient to the challenges that the pandemic produced are the long-lasting, week-long traditions of FSU homecoming that this year welcome back all members of the FSU family on October 18th to the 23rd. Homecoming is a culmination and a celebration of all things FSU. It's just not one part of campus. It really is every single department, student from first year, second year as graduate, also faculty as well. So that's another thing that I love the most about it. And also just seeing all the alumni come back, especially this year we had so many alumni come back to celebrate since they weren't able to last year. Overview of the Executive Homecoming Council, an organized 30-member group of student-run committees fell to Director Taylor Deering, whose inspiration was to emphasize the unique features of being a Seminole. Hearing the stories about people, how they went to homecoming and how that really showed them the school spirit of FSU, I knew that I wanted to do that for other students. Um, maybe if they didn't find their home at FSU, just to reiterate why and their passion for Florida State. And so when I got my role this year as overall director, I really wanted to even emphasize that further because a lot of times last year people didn't have that opportunity. The student-led Spirit Force team offered a helping hand with the execution of events through crowd control, management, and related tasks. Members attended weekly meetings and worked together to ensure that homecoming operations run smoothly. I've made um, a lot of friends through Spirit Force, some friends that I still talk to and still hang out with like daily. It just helped that we were all like close in age, that we were all going to the same school, we all had like similar interests and similar things going on with our lives, so it's, it was a lot easier to communicate with one another. Events began with Chalk on Legacy Walk and led up to the weekend's grand finale, the parade, homecoming live, and the Saturday football matchup. Selected students running for the prestigious titles of homecoming chief and princess engaged in the events as they awaited the winning announcement at the end of the week. It was honestly surprisingly not really competitive. People were just themselves and tried to just make more bonds than like worry about winning. When we walked the football field on the homecoming game, it was just beautiful because the marching chiefs were playing in the background and like I was walking and it wasn't nerve wracking because I was with my pairing, Ronnie. So it was just really nice being able to just take in the moment. Not only does involvement in homecoming create fond memories, but the process of creating the annual tradition also fosters professional growth. As students move on and graduate, the end of homecoming marks a bittersweet conclusion to their college career. Well, having homecoming court, I was able to like experience basically everything I love about FSU because it was all the events, like meeting new people, and then the football games, like school spirit and stuff. I think that was a great way to close out my college experience because I did a little bit of everything all in one week. Students and alumni invited back to create new memories at future homecomings will reminisce on the days when they created their own FSU legacies while paying homage to the university that made them feel at home. I remember my first year sitting at my last event of the week and just seeing a huge entire stadium of 6,000 people all singing the fight song and just celebrating FSU and it was in that moment that I was like, wow, I think I found my home on campus. With a return to the traditions of homecoming's past, the 2021 FSU homecoming was a success thanks to the student members who channeled tradition and pure seminal spirit. This is Chloe Miller reporting.